Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 15th of June, and right now it's time for another E3 2013 recap, this time of the Ubisoft conference. Best press conference of the show, hands down. And the reason for that was twofold. One, because the actual show they put on was great. Their host, Aisha, was fun, funny, and all-round entertaining from start to finish. And two, because Ubisoft and the developers working under their name don't seem to be afraid to take chances and do something different. But with that said, let's start looking at the games. Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains was on stage first to show Rocksmith 2014 and its new session mode off, which was admittedly rather cool, but definitely not what I tuned in to see. Session mode basically gives you a virtual band to jam with that reacts and varies its performance based on your play. Next, Spies vs Mercenaries mode for Splinter Cell Blacklist was shown off briefly in a trailer and we were told that the game will be launching in August for current gen, obviously. Rayman Legends received a reasonable amount of screen time after that with a super fun cinematic trailer and some gameplay. We were told that this will be the biggest Rayman game to date with both single and multiplayer modes, over 120 levels, epic boss battles and more. Speaking of epic, the mighty quest for epic loot's closed beta for PC was announced, some more details of the game were given and another humor filled CG trailer was shown off. Your goal in the game is simple, steal from your neighbors and protect your pile of loot. I love the look of this one, it's like a dungeon crawler meets base defense, sort of like torchlight meets orcs must die, but different. And also incredibly lighthearted and silly looking. South Park's Stick of Truth was teased briefly in a very South Parky, or perhaps South Parkly manner, and is coming this holiday season. Or some holiday season. <laughs> I don't even know. The trailer is amazing though, so you should probably check it out. It's called the Nagasaki because if you do it right, it makes people go, Ooh, Nagasaki! <laughs> After that, the first really big game of the conference, The Crew. The Crew is, once again, as seems to be a thing at this E3, an open world drop-in, drop-out co-op multiplayer game. It's set to feature all kinds of intense and complete looking car customization, an absolutely huge looking map of the US to explore and race through, smaller groups or crews of players traveling together, competing against or working with other crews, and even tablet integration. Yes, that last one is the most exciting to be sure. The presentation of the game itself was actually kind of impressive and saw four players live on stage starting in different parts of the country and finally meeting up to do a cooperative takedown mission in Miami. The open world driving thing does interest me and I can't wait to see how much of the US we can actually drive through and explore. Early 2014 for PC, Xbox One and PS4. Can't wait. Watch Dogs was up next with an impressive and exciting CGI trailer. No gameplay, which was kinda sad, but at least the trailer had a guy eating sushi off a naked lady. So yes, that's a thing. Keep in mind though that the Ubisoft conference was before the Sony conference, and Watch Dogs was shown off extensively in the latter. Just Dance 2014 for current and next gen looks just like all the other Just Dance games, but now allows six people to dance together. So that's pretty cool. And hey, another positive thing I can say about it is at least it's not a sports game. Moving along though, Rabbids invaded the conference hall next with a rather interesting idea, interactive TV. Rabbids Invasion is a TV show and a game in one that you can play with your entire family. It looks kind of fun and is meant to be a learning experience for the kids as well, which makes it even better. You watch the show, watch the show, watch the show, then at a certain point you'll be told, hey, you can join in right now, and then you start playing a game, and then when that's done, you keep watching the show, watching the show, watching the show, and then you'll play another game, and so on and so forth. I'll be honest, I'm not completely sure how this is gonna work when they release it, but it is an interesting idea. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was up next and during the Ubisoft event all we saw was yet more cinematic action and an interesting music video of sorts that was put together using parts of gameplay. And I watch as your head turns full circle a few new gameplay mechanics and features were discussed too, but a lot of it was covered in a whole lot more detail during the Sony conference, so check my recap of that out if you're interested in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Trials Fusion for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4 and PC was announced, and for the first time ever, Trials is coming to mobile with Trials Frontier. I've personally never not enjoyed a Trials game, so the reveal of these was good news to me. Tom Clancy's The Division was the final game of the conference, and hey, what do you know? 
saving the best for last yet again. This one was something special. Probably the game of the show for many visiting or watching this year's E3 on the streams. The Division is an open world co-op third person shooter of sorts. Not an MMO, but at least most of the way there. The story behind it is that a virus is released using American currency on Black Friday, which is ridiculously smart, and the entire country falls apart within a couple of days. A cinematic trailer was shown off to set the scene, and then the super impressive gameplay was revealed. We followed a group of three friends that were constantly using their voice chat as they walked the semi-deserted, snow-covered streets of New York in search of adventure. They laid siege to an overtaken or captured police office, then proceeded to liberate it, free the officers inside and help themselves to the spoils. Then they ran into another group of real players out in the field and we were sadly ripped from the dream and back into reality with the end of the gameplay. The game looked immersive. The visuals were some of the best I've ever seen. The tactical and intense combat looked like something I could definitely get into and the whole lot of it just worked. There's also a companion app for the game that'll allow you to control a drone to help your friends out while they're playing. From what we saw during the demonstration, this was one of the first times that the tablet integration really seemed like it worked and worked well. I gotta admit that I love seeing devs do something different and it's funny that the other big different and out there game from last year's E3 also came from Ubisoft in the form of Watch Dogs. It was mentioned that The Division is coming to both Xbox One and PS4 and after E3, Ubisoft actually asked PC gamers if they want it. They obviously responded with the loudest possible hell yeah, so here's hoping that that happens. That's it for the games though, all in all Ubisoft's conference was the easiest, least awkward and probably most enjoyable of the lot to watch. Sure there wasn't anything as big as the PS4 console reveal or anything like that, but they had a solid lineup of games, presented all of it really well and definitely connected with their audience. But there you go, Ubisoft at E3 in a nutshell. Subscribe if you like the content, check back here soon for the recap of that Nintendo Direct, have a look at the others that that I've uploaded if you haven't already. Remember to check the description below this video for all sorts of links, like the video and do all that other good stuff, and most importantly, happy E3 2013. Happy that.